So with the cancellation of the Acolyte just a few days ago, there's been a fervor from Star Wars fans. And I'm going to call them fans with quotes because they're, they're just the vocal minority. It's a minority of people that actually like this show. And so now we, we've, you know, we've gone through the phase of, you know, Thank you, hate mongers. Thank you, misogynists, bigots, racists, homophobes, whatever isterism you can think of for getting the show canceled. This show was awesome. To now, people are afraid that the show might be pulled from Disney Plus, kind of like Willow was. But Willow was a special circumstance. Willow, the show was supposed to be tied to Willow the movie from way back when. And it was nothing like Willow the movie. And the, the viewership was abysmal. I think it was even more abysmal than the Acolyte. At least the Acolyte was part of the Star Wars universe. So fast forward to today. And we have this from over at comicbookmovie.com, Josh Wilding. He pulled this from the San Francisco Gazette. A few days ago, we learned that the latest Star Wars TV series, The Acolyte, has been canceled after just one season. It's rare for Disney Plus to officially cancel any show, raising questions about why the plug was pulled on this one in such a definitive public way. Well, I can tell you why. Viewership. The Acolyte finale viewership is 41% below Ahsoka's finale and over 50% below Andor's finale. This was written just the other day over at That Park Place by John F. Trent. Check out his socials, check out his work, does excellent work. So that's why the Acolyte was canceled. Forgot to pull up this website. Sorry about that. So... Questions as to why the plug was pulled in such a definitive public way. That's why. Viewership. Okay, covered that. No matter which side of the fandom you fall on, there's no denying that the Acolyte received mostly positive reviews from critics and introduced a lot of interesting new concepts to the Star Wars franchise. Yeah, those concepts were D-E-I. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Those are the concepts that were introduced into Star Wars with the Acolyte. Unfortunately, it also left us a lot of unanswered questions which are unlikely to be ever addressed. Good. I said it in other videos, I'll say it again. As a business person, you wasted $180 million on this project for season one with poor viewership. So why would you burn more money on a season two that will either be the same viewership or even less? Comment down below if you don't think I'm right. Love to hear what you guys have to say. As we first reported at SFFGate or Gazette.com, fans have now noticed that the official Disney Store website seems to have removed all merchandise for the Acolyte. Well, that may have been so yesterday, but I just did a quick search this morning. You can get four one of three t-shirts and a sweatshirt. I mean, honestly, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see if these, these shirts and the sweatshirt ends up in, you know, Africa, South America somewhere. You know, like what they do with the Super Bowl loser t-shirts. Like when the Patriots went... 18 and 0 during the during the regular season in the playoffs, and then they lost in the Super Bowl to the Giants, and they had those shirts printed up. Those went to third world countries. Just saying. This might be much ado about nothing, but it's led to concerns that the show will go the way of Willow. Now I doubt that'll happen. They won't pull the show down like they did Willow. They won't. 
That poorly received revival was removed from Disney Plus and hasn't ever received another home, giving fans no way to legally, quote unquote, watch it. I should say in parentheses. While some have taken great delight in the Acolyte's cancellation, others are rallying around the Star Wars series. A change.org petition has been set up by a fan called Blue Smith. And as we write this, has hit nearly seven, hit 7,500 signature goal. It will need to do a lot more than that to gain Disney's attention, of course. So I just pulled up that change.org petition. And here we go. This is why this petition matters, folks. The Acolyte opened the doors for so many Star Wars fans, new and old, to feel seen. What is it with people about feeling seen in a TV show or a movie? I, I, I guess I'm too old to get it. To feel welcomed and accepted by an IP and fandom that hadn't previously been so for anyone who didn't check off certain boxes. Again, we're, 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 we're tying in race and gender somewhere where race and gender should not be. So previously in Star Wars, you didn't see um, a transgender person. So they couldn't be a fan of Star Wars because there was no transgenders in Star Wars. Because they didn't feel seen. Previously in Star Wars, you didn't have an LGBT person. Lesbian, gay, bi. I already covered trans. Um, so they couldn't be Star Wars fans because they weren't represented in Star Wars in the past. They couldn't be seen. Not only that, but the Acolyte became a beacon for representation that many fans have felt was lacking in Star Wars universe for decades. Um, Mon Mothra, Princess Leia, Lando Calrissian. Not to mention the other multitude of, of aliens that were in Star Wars that inhabited other planets. With both creators and actors that truly understood the world of Star Wars, the Acolyte quickly became a fan favorite because of the clear passion and love shown for the work and the drive to give us something new and fresh to fall in love with. The, the Acolyte was fan fiction. Plain and simple. They didn't understand Star Wars. They didn't understand George Lucas's vision. Remember, George Lucas had a plan laid out that he gave Disney when he sold Lucasfilm to Disney, and they basically threw it in the vertical file. They threw it in the trash. So don't tell me that these people that were behind the Acolyte understood the world of Star Wars, because they clearly did not. New characters with new stories that still existed within the same galaxies we cherished. Regardless of the orchestrated review bombing by a small faction of loud trolls and all of the other obstacles this show had to face straight out of the gate, it trended repeatedly throughout and after the show aired. It has a very dedicated fan base willing to fight for its continuation. It's a story that deserves to be told. Um, again, review bombing. Sorry, I, I don't buy it. You can say review bombing all you want to your blue in the damn face. Collider, Screen Rant, can say review bombing till they're blue in the face. Kotaku, you know who I'm talking about, can say review bombing till they're blue in the face. Review bombing didn't happen here. People got word about what this show was going to be like, who was in it, what it was about from the very beginning. And they were like, no, this is not Star Wars. And they rejected it. The critics didn't reject it. And the critics didn't reject it because it aligned with their politics. It aligned with their beliefs. And to say that this show trended repeatedly throughout and after the show aired, uh, again, I'll, right here, viewership. The viewership was non-existent. The majority of the people that watched the show were people like me who were, who were YouTubers or other reviewers on other platforms. 
And for most of the YouTube community, um, we made fun of it. And we'll continue to make fun of it. Because the show is absurd. So there you have the Acolyte. I doubt this will be the final video. I hope it's one of the final videos, but I hope, I doubt it's the final video I do about the Acolyte. But I just wanted to point this out. See, back in the day, when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, even into the 90s, and a show got canceled, and it may have been a show that we liked but had poor ratings, we didn't go and whine and bitch and moan and complain and make phone calls to NBC, ABC, CBS. Because back in the 70s, we only had three channels. Even into the early 80s, we only had three channels. Fox didn't come around to the late 80s. But we didn't bother the networks. We didn't bother the, the creatives. But in today's world, I guess we got to be a bunch of bitchy little girls because the show got canceled. So there you have it. Now we have a change.org petition. Wonderful. So comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.